Yun! Akala ko wala na makakahalata eh. <laughs> so, in my previous Twitter thread, I claimed na yung first ever job offer ko in tech is senior developer agad. Maganda pag-usapan to. Hi! If you're new here, I'm Ren, also known as Kuya Dev, and I share tips and insights on how to get into tech and shift careers into tech. So, bago tayo mapunta ron, kaagaling ko lang kasi sa event ng Google Developer Group Manila na ginawa nila sa Ateneo. I will be creating a separate vlog for this. Ayun, medyo gusto lang i-share na naging nostalgic siya para sa akin kasi it's been a while since andun ako sa mismong campus, sa Loyola Campus, yung college area ng Ateneo. Lalo na sa loob ng mga lecture halls nila. Parang close to two decades na. Nako, medyo lumilitaw yung, <laughs> yung edad natin. I had a lot of memories there, although two years lang ako sa atin ngayon dati. Kasi yung Escalera Hall, it's in, I think, if I remember right, Sec A. Doon kasi ako nagtitik ng math classes namin. Doon ginagawa. Naalala ko yung mga panahon na muntik ako bumagsak sa math. <laughs> in, in two subjects na math, no? Uh, I think algebra and trigo. Sa kabuti ng palad, Never ako bumagsak sa mat. Pero bumagsak ako sa mga major subjects. Mas malala. <laughs> pero, okay, so, tama na yung reminiscing. Uh, siguro, gawa na lang ako ng separate vlog. Mapunta tayo ulit dun sa pinoint out ng ating uh, commenter. Yun nga, na senior developer agad yung naging offer ko. Even though wala naman akong experience in tech. Maganda yon kasi I was expecting for people to actually point that out. At walang... Kahit sino man ang nagtatanong. Walang kinikwestiyon yung nil- nilagay ko. It's, that's bad, guys. Ha? You have to be critical of anything anyone posts on internet. Kahit ako. Sino man yung mga sinusundan nyo sa internet, questionin nyo. Pero of course, do it nicely. Ha? Tulad ng ginawa ng commenter natin, simple question. Walang kahit anong mura, walang kahit anong harsh words. No? Full of respect. Kung ganyan kayo magtanong, ganyan kayo mag-criticize, that's a good way of actually checking the veracity of the content of people you follow online, yung mga influencers, mga content creators. That's a really good practice to do. So, sa mga hindi nakahalata, <laughs> kayo ah. <laughs> But, truth be told, totoo yun, na senior agad yung binigay sa akin. Imagine nyo na lang yung naramdaman ko. Kaya talagang pinag-isipan ko talagang mabuti. Although it only took me, you know, overnight to actually make that decision. It was a very hard decision to make kasi dumating sa akin senior agad eh. Teka, I, I don't have the, the capacity to, to become a senior. There's a high chance na mag-fail ako kapag tinanggap ko to. Paano pagka nagkaganon, di ba? Iiwan ko tong, tong trabaho kong to, tapos di pa ako sa bagong industry, tapos I fail, saan ako pupulutin? So, those things were running through my mind. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy, Pag-usapan din natin paano kung nakuha yung offer. Ito yung kinuwento ko na dati sa isa sa mga video ko. This was when na-realize ko na may mga patterns about this question. So nag-search talaga ako the night before nung interview ko na common JavaScript questions during interviews. Previous experiences ko rin, may onti na akong insights, meron na akong onting knowledge na dinala ko during that interview. Long story short, nakuha ko siya. Guys, talagang ano yung inisip ko talaga nung, nung nakuha ko yung offer na yon. Ano ba to? Human trafficking ba to? <laughs> Saan ako dadali ng mga to? Kasi yung nag-interview sa akin, he was a foreigner. Pwede natin sabihin itong naging offer sa akin, it was just a combination of preparation na namanggit natin kanina and opportunity. Sa mga hindi nakakaalam kung ano yung nakukuha mo pag pinagsama mo yung preparation and opportunity, what you get is luck. So I was very lucky. Kasi yung opportunity was, this was a startup company na sobrang bago. Typically, if you have a startup company, tapos may funding sila, mas lingyad sila sa mga requirements sila, sa mga engineers nila. Tapos, parang pang ilang ba akong hire? Pang apat ata ako eh. So, it was a very small company. They were just starting to actually build the team here in the Philippines. At sobra chamba. It was pure luck. But pure luck is, ulitin nyo, Opportunity plus preparation. When the opportunity came, I was prepared and I got it. The decision didn't come easy. It was very hard. Meron din akong actually episode nito sa podcast ko na dinescuss ko yung first few months ko in the tech industry, lalo na as a senior. But in a nutshell, ang tinde, sobrang tinde ng imposter syndrome. It's one thing to have imposter syndrome as a junior na 
Bagong pasok ka talaga, entry level. But this wasn't an entry level job. It was a senior job. The expectations there were very high. Isipin nyo na lang yung nararamdaman ko nun, di ba? But I took the chance. I took the job. Kasi I thought na if I I wasn't going to do this now, if I, I'm not going to to bite the bullet, kailan pa? I was already doing this. Three years, di ba? Sabi ko, binanggit ko dun sa, sa Twitter thread natin. Three years ko siyang ginagawa. Nag-aral, sakripisyo. Yung oras ko talagang ubus. Tapos andito na, may offer ka na. Tapos senior, it's way more than you expected. Yes, there there's a high chance na mag, mag-fail ako. But if I didn't risk it, I didn't get the biscuit. Wow. <laughs> Sorry guys, ha? <laughs> But, di ba? Totoo. Of course, nung nandun na ako, I had to work double time to prove that, yeah, I belong here. It turns out, I did really belong in that company. I was good enough to actually be the first tech lead for JavaScript in that company. So, from someone na senior na walang experience, in just a few months, I, I think it only took six, seven months, ginawa ako tech lead. I'm not saying magaling ako, ha? No, I, I don't think I'm that good. No, but in the context of that company, they thought that I had the qualities of a leader that they were looking for. Ulitin natin to, I already had work experience, hindi nga lang sa tech. Yung work experience ko in my previous industry, which is engineering, I think really helped me build the the right skills for that leadership role. I also learned na parang pare-pareho lang kami nararamdaman na That kami, we were all feeling that imposter syndrome. It was a refreshing to actually learn that from the others, my colleagues, na, okay, this is normal. Even for people na have years of experience na in tech. Yung akin, normal. Although, of course, yung magnitude siguro mas malaki doon sa nararamdaman nila. But hinayar ako eh. So they trust that I could do the job. And I did the job. And maybe well enough to actually lead a team. Ganun yung naging story noon. Again, this would probably happen very rarely. Pero these things happen, no? But sobrang bihira. Thank you for noticing na parang too good to be true. Which is totoo naman. I, I understand. Ako man. Nung na- napanggap ko yung ano, ano to kalokohan to, di ba? <laughs> Ibibenta ba nila yung liver ko? Mga ganun na inisip ko talaga eh. But, you know, it worked out. And now I'm here talking in front of you on your screens sharing my story it makes for a really great story na i hope na nakaka-inspire din sa mga tao na nakapanood nito so before we end this video i just want to take the opportunity to thank google developer groups cloud manila for inviting me to join them for dinner and giving me that opportunity to actually mingle with the speakers the organizers and of course the volunteers can i miss Jazz, kina Miss Carla, Miss Cleo, mga speakers natin, yun, si na TJ Monserrat, finally, na-meet natin in person. Si founder ng FWDP, si Jean. And si na Cyrus ng DevCon Manila. And everyone, hindi ko na kayo isa-isahin, ang dami nyo eh. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you for having me. And with that, thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you soon on the next one. Bye! Eh... <laughs>